every day, every single day, seven days a week. And that's been the routine since he was three years old. There's two sides to this pitcher's story. Right. You know, I'm a natural right-hander. And left. But when I was three years old, my father started working with me to learn how to pitch left-handed. Pat Vendetti, the only active ambidextrous pitcher in professional baseball. I was joking that he gave me vertigo the other day <laughs> and that his number 74 looked like it was 47 from one side and I walked out of here a little bit dizzy. The 29-year-old fighting for a roster spot on the Oakland Athletics. His, his left-handed is, is, uh, is, is his bread and butter. I mean, he's, he's very good right-handed. He's improved a lot right-handed. Double the practice. One may have a little bit more velocity, and the other one may have a little bit more movement on the ball. Twice the opportunity. Obviously, there's certain days where my left hand's better or my right hand's better, but um, as far as yeah, the transition goes, it's, uh, it's pretty easy for me now. The development continues for both arms, as neither overpowers enough on their own. No, I think he needs that advantage. Facing lefties left-handed and righties right-handed, so that's something I really need uh, to compete at this level. Now when a switch pitcher takes the mound, there's no time to change his glove in between batters, which makes for a unique situation. Six fingers here, as you can see, the two thumbs. Then the pocket's here in the middle, but you actually end up catching it off to the side. So if I'm a right-handed catcher at the time, I'm catching it in there, and then you just switch it over to the left side. Vendetti is the real deal. It's, it's a lot of fun to watch him do it because it's just something that not many people can do. Just a man trying to achieve his childhood dream. Just to be here every day with these guys in that clubhouse. Uh, very, very lucky and very blessed and enjoying every second of it. In Mesa, Michelle Dapper, KCRA 3 News.